Damn, I really do have a lot of nice merch on here. That's crazy. Oh, my bad. Yeah, go check that out in the description. Go check that in the description. Fang Gang merch. I hit the like button, guys, so people, more people could be aware of what's going on. Because we kicking some realness out here. This one might hurt my heart. <laughs> I'm a fan of Upchurch music. I really enjoy the heck out of Upchurch, man. What? What? The people's champ out here in these streets, man. Independent. Killing it. But apparently he's he's been talking about some of these true crime cases. I, I don't know why. No, I up church. What is he doing? Because you 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 you're an amazing musician, bro. Like, why why are you jumping in? I, I can understand him trying to help, right? I, originally, when all this was going down and he was speaking on a certain case in particular, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I was a missing woman at the time. I don't want to get her name wrong. I want to make sure I'm accurate. It was Kylie Rodney, if I'm not mistaken. He was trying to, you know, draw some attention to it and get some help out there. Apparently, he said a lot of craziness. Apparently, he said a lot of wildness and he's being sued right now. Let's check out what he had to say about the situation. He just put out a new video called True Crime's Number One Channel Ever Made in All Existence of Eternity Times Infinity Facts. I, I think he's referring, is he referring to himself? Up church, which is damn yo fam bro <laughs> i'm gonna be unbiased just because i'm a fan of his music don't mean i'm not gonna tell the truth um but yeah let me let's let's check this out let's hear what what up church has to say why why can i just say that before i even get into why man like babe, you, you don't get paid for your opinion i get paid for <laughs> You get paid to make amazing music, bro. Like, what did you do? Um, let, let's hear it out. Let's hear it out. Let's, let's, see, let's see what he has to say. Let's get a fair shake. Uh, welcome to the best, most popular risk. Okay. Cyber investigator channel in the whole internet for real. Not a lie. So he just strolling. That, this is that's wow. Testing, testing, dear true crime. I mean, in the studio, that's that's why I want you to be. That's what no no shade. That's that's what I would love for you to be. Right now, not like even speaking on this true crime stuff, man. To be honest, I, I would prefer for you to be in there making some more bangers. Uh, when a new video dropping, I got to do another reaction. I ain't do a reaction to some upchurch in a while, man. Uh, but I got it like a whole playlist. Go and check that out, man. Super dope um, creator, musician. I'm community. I'm number one. What? You can't investigate nothing. You ain't never put someone in jail or found guns. Dear truth. Okay, all right, okay. I get what he's saying. And I do agree that the true crime community do think that they police officers. <laughs> It's like, yo, you gotta chill. You gotta, you gotta relax. Like y'all wilding out. So I guess what what he's probably saying is or referring to is that, like, man, if I'm not like a cop or detective, I should be able to speak about it as well as you guys. I I understand that, and I even agree to the sentiment. Where I I think the issue would be is that you you've been wilding. <laughs> it's like conspiracies and things of that. We have, from what I've, I've seen, you were calling uh, certain YouTubers the P-word and just throwing accusations and like trying to say that they were like, you know, into that kind of stuff just because they disagree with you. And I miss the anti-cancer culture. That's like a cancel culture tactic that gets used on YouTube all the time. And I don't like it. Right. So I had to keep it real. That's, that's just a little that was a little different. But I do agree with your overall point. Yes, I do think that you were wilding. I want to see if he addresses if he was wilding or not. Crime community. Stop pretending you're the cops. You ain't got no skills. Only pointless bills from paying for you to box. Here's oh, true snap. crime community. I'm number one investigator in you now. You ain't. I'm the top investigator. Throwing. You're not. 
Today, the mailman brought me the award for number one YouTube investigator of all time. So what the I mean, hell? that's why it's in my bio. Don't hate the player and hate the game. Okay? All right. I, I know you trolling, but damn, bro, this, this is pretty serious. <laughs> it's, it's pretty serious. Why are you, why are you trolling so heavy? Why, why are you, why are you, why are you trolling this damn heavy? This is kind of crazy. Gave me the award of the Advanced Skilled Private Investigator YouTube Ceremony Association. I'm so good at private investigating that my private investigating turned into non-private investigating because everybody wanted to watch my private investigate. Fam, I swear I would be laughing if it was like not this topic. Like I, I get what he's trying to do. I understand it. It's just like, whoa, bro. This is yo, fam, that is crazy. I don't think this is the topic to be joking with like about that. But all right, all right whatever. I can't tell anybody what to do. No one can, right? So let me just hear him out. I'd be out walking around investigating with my clipboard, scribbling stuff down. And they're like, look, there he is trying to be private. And I'm like, well, not now. So there's that too. Plus, I'm ever out investigating and my cover gets blown. I already have a defense, a defense move. I was like, you know what? You got me. I'm retiring. You can find somebody else to look at things at places. All right. Bye. P.S. I won't be back in different clothes or nothing. I'm done with this. And I'll walk. Wait, why do you say that? Oh, come back with different clothes? At a fake retirement? Like, <laughs> what's happening? Like, walk around a corner and then I'll just take a shirt off and then have a totally different one underneath and I'll walk really different right past it. He'll never know. I'll be right back investigating. Plus, if my walk ain't different enough and I notice it and I think that the perpetrator is looking at me suspicious, I've been uh, practicing this instant cramp walk. But to pull this off, you must bring a hoodie that has a hood on it. But and the reason that so he like not going to talk about that at all. Yo, fam. So he not going to like talk about it at all. Like at, he's not going to actually speak on it. OK. And that one from the makes fun of the glitter. OK, so he made another one, too. OK, we're going to check it out. We're going to check that one out. I heard Ryan's in court now because his own. Oh he's in court for that, too. Damn, he's always in court. <laughs> it seems like, yeah. I watched uh, Up Church during that time, and he was saying things to make people think and not just accept what media shovels to us. I agree with that point. However, I do think that you can go too far sometimes. Right? I agree with that point. I don't think you should just believe mainstream media. Obviously not. But sometimes, like, especially if all the things he was saying was. Like if he was out here accusing YouTubers of being P words for no apparent reason, I can't get behind that. You know what I mean? I can 100% get behind. I just did a video. I just dropped a video. What was it? Two hours ago about the woke media. Like, so, you know, come on, this, this is me. You know, I'm, I'm anti what that woke media is doing out here in these streets. But I don't think that that makes it okay to do certain things or say certain things, right? That is because the leg lock cramp walk that uh i've invented is like a wood motion and you also got to practice uh the instant pain yell like the ah! like what was that like what? maybe more like a huh. just reach down and then you flip your head forwards to conceal your face and you're just holding your leg and then nobody's going to want to help anybody so you just wait till they all go away boom concealed went from non-private to private just with a 90 degree angle that's how that's how good I am at concealment. If I had a little bit less concealment skills and somebody seen me, they would probably be like, oh. All right, so this is just a joke video. <laughs> it's just a joke video, bro. Like, what is happening? Is that what this is? It's just a joke video. <laughs> just, I thought he was going to address something, like, in any way, shape, or form. Nah, he just going to crack the jokes. All right, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not against that. <laughs> I'm not against cracking jokes. I think this case is a little, it's probably the wrong thing to get your Def Jam on. Um, but all right, no, that's risky. That's, that's risky. Uh, what we used to say when I played poker, too rich for my blood. Too rich for my blood. I'm all for comedy. Um, 
I think this is crazy. I would have loved to hear him like seriously address this though. That that probably would have been fire. Right? Shit, did he disappear, kind of? I think he did. In terms of investigating spy gear, working on a plunger gun right now, but they just don't make plungers like they used to. It ain't, it ain't, it don't have the to it. Hey. Now, I did meet this lady who told me about a higher up technology about private investigating and stuff. It's the wooden witch box or something. You shake it and it tells you a, a bunch of words. Yeah. Apparently, the universe gives you wooden witch words to figure stuff out. Shit, I guess we'll see. She told me she saw from 114th of a missing person case doing it, shaking that box thing. She had ordered one off. Did he say 113th? Missing person case. Shit, I guess we'll see. She told me she saw from 114th of a. 114th? What what the hell would that even be? <laughs> what would one fourteenth of a missing person case be? What the hell would one fourteenth a missing person case doing it? Shaking that box thing. Shit, I ordered one off eBay and tried it myself. I mean, I don't think it worked, but you never know. Oh hell yeah! My new wooden witch box just came in. Going to try it for the first time. Oh, that's, he he's different. He it's a whole different uh Wait, thing I he's trying. I press okay, the yeah. button, shake it, it tells me words about a secret. What's the Ouija board? Like I get the troll and I understand. Um I I get some of his points too. I just the delivery is just like it's kinda throwing me off, right? Because it's like he's not even adjusting it. This would have been a funny segment. If he did like a good two to three minutes of like seriously talking about it in the beginning and then just did all of this, I'd be like, all right, this is cool. But he didn't. Like, I don't think he addressed it at all. He's just using comedy, irony, Damn. sarcasm. You hear those three clues? You gotta find out what's going on. Is there a mystery tip line we can call? There is. Hello. Is this the cops? Oh. Hey, cops, is there any suspicious stuff going on around here? Oh. Just like any suspicious stuff. All right. Oh. So in order, that's, this is what I don't agree with is in, I guess the way to, for him to justify maybe him spreading misinformation is him saying how other true crime creators use bullcrap to feel like they investigated. Yeah, they do. And they wrong for that. I call those people out all the time. No one's wild. I think when all of this happened, right, before all of it happened, I sent up church a message, right? Because I was seeing that um the glare and Molly go lightly and a bunch of people was going at him, right? And this is when it first happened. I sent him a, a message saying, yo, listen, I'm not even covering any of these things, but Fib, if you need help, I will look into everything and send you the information, bro, before you do streams. It's before he said anything crazy, crazy. I remember that vividly. And of course, he gets like a lot of DMs, right? He's like a huge rapper. But he probably didn't see it. But I do remember actually offering like, yo, fam, I can be a research guy for this if you need the help. You know what I mean? I'm working on a bunch of other stuff. I'm not even covering this case. But I will add it to my roster if you need the help. And I don't think he ever replied. And he probably needed the help. <laughs> I need the help, bro. All right. I needed some research. Um, so yeah, I just I disagree with both sides. Like, yes, I get his point about mainstream media. I agree with that, but ah, spread of misinformation don't help either, right? Well, because I got this uh private investigator uh talking witch box that gives me clues to stuff. It told me earlier it said murder dog lamp. Uh, hey, what's I mean, up, Pixie? How you doing? Facts. I don't know. Maybe there's a gang of lamps trying to murder people with dogs. Maybe there's a guy yeah. murdering. I know he ain't being serious. I know this is like comedy. I just would like him to be serious for like one minute. <laughs> Bare minimum. Just start the intro addressing what's up, at least. If you're able to. I know it's a crooked, but if you're able to address that. And then you can do all the troll joke stuff after. I'm totally down with it. But like address it seriously like a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he did already. He's side of it. Dogs with a lamp. 
I'm just telling you what the future said based off eBay. Hello? What the future said based off eBay. I'm up because my private investigator skills are just far beyond. <laughs> I guess he addressed the glare too. Let's see. Let's see, did he? Uh, is this him? Is it right here? True crime detective. Is this right here supposed to be it? Let me see. Like, I get, like, on his channel, which I've noticed and I actually appreciate, besides him doing dope music, he does give his fans other content, right? Of him just, you know, vlogging or talking about random things. I just think when it comes to true crime, bro, you got to be careful. That's it. That's all. That's my only real opinion on this. Is like when it comes to churches, you got to be careful when it comes to true crime, bro. If you don't know something to be certain, you can just simply avoid all of this by saying so. I don't know if this is true. This imagination station. I have no idea if any of this is the, what really happened. Like small things like that would nip this in the butt. Right? Like that's all you got to do. If ever I think about something or if I say a theory, when it comes to true crime cases, I'm extra capital, but I make it clear, clear as day that I'm not like trying to insinuate anything, all this stuff. I'm going to assume it's this video right here. That this is the glare of this. Let's take a look at it. Y'all, I'm here. The YouTube crime community is coming for me. What am I going to do? Bunch of fucking inspector gadgets. Y'all. <laughs> Yo, I agree with him, right? Both things could be true. I can agree that all these true crime people that's coming at them are full of crap. 100% because they're not any better. But I can also agree that he might have went too far especially you know if you out here calling youtubers the p word fam just because yeah come on bro that's nasty that's nasty man that's not right that's not oh no y'all are not real detectives right you're mm -hmm. laying on your bed in your underwear going oh, i don't know guys what do you think sheesh really getting to the bottom of shit huh i mean there is a reason y'all are trying to be like murder solvers on youtube it's okay if you leave five of the little stick things out of the triangle game at Cracker Barrel. Everybody's different. I mean, I get it. Can't solve your own problems. So you're like, look at me, guys. I'm a really great problem solver. I'm investigating things at places. Oh, yeah. Fab, I do agree with him on some of these points. I think that the true crime community does act like they're detectives and they're not. Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. The true crime community are not solving nothing. There might be some times when they might have added additional help. I think the most the true crime community has done is spread awareness. That's, that's the most you should be able to give them, right? Um, but a lot of these guys act like they are detectives. Like they are out here Nancy drawing. And it's like, no. And that's why when I used to do true crime um, from time to time, people would be sending me certain things. I'm like, yo, y'all know I'm not like an actual like cop. I'm smart. I love mysteries. Me and my older brother, we can't watch a movie without figuring out the ending within the first 15 minutes. That's a fact. If I went to the escape room, I would probably get out fast as hell. Every time I've watched an escape room video, I solved it and I was so frustrated because no one was checking that damn painting in the back that clearly has the woman pointing to the clock. The clock says, no, no never mind. Never mind. I, what people be slow. Anyway, that don't mean I'm a detective though. In dream world, I'll be Batman, the world's greatest detective. Yeah, I investigate. I'm the best investigator. I type keywords in the search bars and click enter. And what I mean when I say I go to these <laughs> places, I look at all the best part. I hike the Appalachian Trail. Mm -hmm. I agree with them. Yeah, yeah, people be acting like they need on catfish. <laughs> like no one else could do a, a reverse Google search. <laughs> on Google Earth. Went to Street View, mm -hmm. had to click it 237, 651 times. My finger was very damaged at the end. My fingernails held up pretty good, walking all those digital steps. At one part, I hiked like 320,000 clicks with a hangnail. Do you know about pain? Things you know he did not say that. <laughs> he said, what you know about pain?
Yeah. Such a good investigator. I'm going to make an investigation station for all races to solve all problems at all places. Search all the nooks, crannies. and. Oh, my man was cooking. Yo, he was spitting bars. Right? That's what I want to hear. Hold on. Run that back. That's what I wanted to hear. He was spitting bars. Hold on. The greatest. Watch, watch Such this. Such a good investigator. I'm going to make an investigation station uh, for all races to solve all problems at all places. Search all the nooks, crannies, and spaces. Analyze every statement. Woo! Search for clues even if it's in the grass. Ooh, that, that's what I wanted to hear. I want to hear him spit bars. Now, I want to hear your opinion on true crime, nigga. Let me hear them bars, bro. Come on, son. Come on. That's what I want to hear, fam. He cooking now. <laughs> now. Now he out here doing it. I think I seen it too. Let me hear some more bars. Go back. Go back. Investigation station for all races to solve all problems at all places. Racist. Search all the nooks, crannies, and spaces. Analyze uh, every statement. Cook Search it. for clues even if it's in the grass, water, or pavement. Woo! So, bars. Nah, he's not like. Yo, I'm too much into music. I, I got hype for real just now. My bad. My bad, guys. I just, I, I was hype. I didn't mean to get that hype. And my bad. I was cooking. You know, he was cooking. And then I started like doing the cooking movements with my hands. I was just cooking. Move everybody. Hit the like button, guys. And YouTube investigators don't put criminals behind because you don't know how to investigate nothing. You're not a good investigator. Fire, no right? Investigator. You couldn't Those investigate the refrigerator for motivators that you put in there yourself Ooh. to save for later. Yo, nah, come on. You got to stop it. Stop. Yo, Fang, you catching me over guard with this. How you doing, Hills in the Air? How you doing? Afternoon, Mr. Fang. <laughs> how you doing? That good afternoon. Behind. Because you don't know how to investigate nothing. You're not a good investigator. You ain't no investigator. He is mad talented. You can't investigate the refrigerator for motivators that you put in there yourself Ooh. to save for later. I uh -huh. y'all. I did. I went all the he way. He did there. go there, y'all. I... Yo, and he's funny. He does have a good sense of humor too, man. Like I'm, t I would be totally a uh, hundred percent on his side if he didn't just wild out a little too much. I think he just went a little too far, fam. But everything else he's saying, he's cooking and he's giving you. Save for later. You couldn't investigate a refrigerator for motivators that you put in there yourself to save for later. <laughs> I went there, y'all. I did. I went all the he way. He did there. go there, y'all. I see, I seen him go there with my own screen. I got. I, I'm absolutely right. He's mm -hmm. absolutely right. Everybody's absolutely. absolutely right. I don't know what he went. He did go somewhere. He went somewhere. Is there he Yo, he's hilarious. He, he can wrap his ass off. Oh, 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 Yo, he ain't just go crazy. You can say that. Yo, you just went wild, right? Real quick. Real something light. Something like he just went up. That's what I want to hear from up church, man. With that new video dropping, man. Like, let me hear some bars. Let me hear some music. Apparently, there was lots of footage yesterday on TikTok of a uh, bunch of true crime channels. Just what's up, Chill Rock? How you doing? Nuts. Apparently, I don't know. This is what I hear. Apparently, about eleven-five true crime channels spent seventy eleven hours. Going live yesterday, making fuck up church videos. And my shitty day just got better. I was like, hell yeah, bro. It's like cartoons all day. I was That's crazy. Oh, you said didn't uh, get make a deal with them and then didn't pay. Wait, he made a deal with them? So he agreed to pay the family is what you're saying? I'd never heard that. That's some new information. I didn't hear Saturday that. for adults. And I ain't seen not one of them. Like outside of yeah. court, like they asked him outside of court to to make a payment, and he agreed, and they sued him because he didn't make that payment. Is what you said? That would be insane. But I don't watch cartoons; I only watch documentaries. If that's true. That's crazy. I mean, true crime could be a documentary. Look, see, here's my cross fingers. They don't document nothing; they just read stuff that other Jeez. people read. That's all. I mean, I seen them like the thumbnails and I was like, God damn, look at all the time these motherfuckers. No, nah, there's some good true crime content greatness. Off the top of the dome, I could think of uh, John Crimes. Like when he, he does a, a true crime video, he go in. He goes in. And I ain't talked to him in a hot minute, man. I know he busy working on something for sure. But fam, he puts in the work. He actually goes, speaks to the fan in person. He like does a documentary for real. Right? So that's always like the uh, a way a place to aim if you think of like a good true crime documentary people like 
John Crimes is a beast. I'm sure you guys can name a few. Go ahead. Name, name some true crime people in the live chat for 10 seconds. Only 10 seconds. After that, you stop. <laughs> no more promo after that. But then you can name a few for 10 seconds. So it's like, you already, I already said start. You got like two more seconds. All right, it's done. No more promo. No more promo. No more. They not talking about me. They ain't done. <laughs> Motherfuckers are wasting doing something I'm never going to look at. And I know what you're thinking. I know what they're thinking. This is the part where they'd be like, oh, quit acting like you don't see it. Uh, no, no, I see the thumbnail. I purposely don't click or watch any seconds of the video. See, that's what you heard. You're wild. So, nah, I got to check that out. That's crazy. If that's true, that is insane. But then that kind of, why would they... That would mean like the family's after just money, then, if that's the case. Huh. That seemed real odd. If that's true, right? I do not know this to be true. I want to make that clear. But if the family, like, agreed for a 75,000 pay, that kind of seemed like some, oh, oh, that seemed a little sus. And then when he doesn't pay it, because I'm sure he's like tired of people trying to get money out of him. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Yeah, that's that's crazy. If that's true, you well, thank you, Harley. I'm the your, your favorite creator. Appreciate that, man. Real talk. I do that because I'm an extra ass motherfucker. And if I wanted to, yeah, be I didn't hear about that either. Asshole. If that's I would true, order that's a lie detector test, hook it up to myself, and then I would say I've never seen these videos, and it'll be like okay. telling the truth just to make them. This much more angry. You don't need to do that shit. It's not that important. This is all okay. trick is wrong, Dylan. It's oh. him. It's his fault for the universe. Oh, he's wilding. <laughs> Yo, who would do that? <laughs> for the meme? These, these kids is going crazy. And my little brother. Yo, fam. Uh, you know what? <laughs> Yo, man, he better never. He better. He, he, he would never. My little brother know better. Never let let my my mom call me. Yo, guess what he did? Excuse me. My little brother hear my voice. If I'm about to walk into my mom's house, he start cleaning up immediately. Never fails. And I always say, you gotta hear me coming for you to clean up the house, bro. For you to clean your room, I need you need to hear my voice coming through. That's crazy. I try to visit my mom at least once a week to make sure this nigga's room's clean. <laughs> Just so you get here. Oh, big brother, come in. Let me make sure I'm not wilding in here. Right? He's over here smashing TVs. I'm an asshole. A lot of these true crime channels are people. Shout who out to my little brother. Drag really simple words out really long and do their hands like this because they're like, look at me. I'm sounding and looking real smart. See how my fingers are crossed like Andrew Tate's? Because I know what's going on. <laughs> so. Okay, so hold on. You saying it's hard to believe what he's being sued for because you can't defame defamation, a uh, blank person, not trying to be in sensitivity, just trying to understand. Insensitive. Yeah, got you. Um, I get what you're saying. 100%, but it's, ah, I don't know. Um, when it's during like the investigation, I'm sure there's something where it's like you're hindering the investigation or something of that nature, or they could probably sue for like, uh, stress. Like I say, like, uh, the trauma he caused from him speaking about it in such a way caused them to like not be able to grieve properly causing them to have to go to therapy yada 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 i've seen people at a supermarket get hit by a soda can by accident and sue and say that they had dreams and nightmares of a giant soda can chasing them down the supermarket aisle and then they became millionaires overnight right um so not saying that they're going to even win the case right but there's a plethora of things they can try to claim was the reason for them to be going through whatever they're going through, right? As far as defamation, I don't know. I don't know if, if that would uphold in court, to be honest. I'm not sure about that. 
I would have to like ask a lawyer or something. Looking it up won't even be good enough for me. I would have to actually talk to a lawyer. He's a little bro. Yo, know, that's facts. He better clean his room, man. If you watching me right now, you better clean your room. I know you watch me from time to time. You be fronting. You be fronting, trying to troll me. Clean your damn room. I'm popping up. I'm doing a surprise visit. I'm doing a surprise visit. Clean your damn room. No, yo, I swear, if Ma tell me that, yo, if Ma tell me your room not clean, brother, oh, 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 I swear, bro. I swear, that was just for my little brother in case he was listening. My bad, guys. Sad people. Just in case he Kinda was like listening. watching kindergartners play with the plastic food. They're like, look, His I'm room. cooking. Had to be See clean me when cooking I go the there. plastic fake food? I'm a good cook, aren't I? And you as the, the adult, you're like, mmm, so good. Mm -hmm. You're doing fucking great. Where was this made at? Oh, in China? God damn. I thought it was Olive Garden. Garden. Kind of the same thing, but with lazy adults. Then again, thinking and I'm trying angry. I get you. really not my thing. Like, bro, you know how easy it is to get your, like, investigator license? Get off your couch. Bro, could For real? It's really that easy? I'm about to get a license. I'm about to get an investiga uh, investigator. Look, I, I can't even pronounce it. I ain't going to be able to get it. That's going to be the first answer on the test. Can you pronounce investigator? I'm like, av Avasta. Av Avasta. Av I'm going to just the exit right this, this way. All right. I'm going to just, I'm going to walk out that way. <laughs> I'll come back when I can pronounce it. I'll come back. Um, but if you can get an investigator license, I would get one just to do it. Like, what? It's easy. I could go and apply. Like what? Get a detective license? I mean, and be a licensed detective? Get out of here. Can I, be, can I be a bounty hunter like dog? Nah, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Even though I did something similar for a friend one time. I, mean, I digress. That's, that's a whole different story, Tom. That's a whole different type of story. Tom. In a fence company. It's like my guys. Invest in baby alligators and be a better investigator than you. You don't even need That's a funny. license to look at something and investigate it. You just won't invest time to invest. You goofy, stupid fucks. Exactly. Kind of real investigator. Like, ex what you just put on, right? Exactly. That's what I don't want. I don't want Upchurch to go into that side, right? I agree with him with the woke media and not believing everything, but I don't want him to lean too heavy into the. He should not be named. It's, YouTube got us treating him like he Voldemort up in this, but we treating him like it's Harry Potter. It, we, you even say his name, you, you risking getting 86. So he who should not be named. I don't want Upchurch to turn into that for certain, like for saying certain theories. You know what I mean? Especially when he's so talented. Talks about their active investigation. Hey, and that's how they act, dude. It's so fucking funny. All right. They like they like they they be posted up, you know, with all these CGI fireworks before their fucking investigator show comes up. Then they yes. like turn into the camera <laughs> and they're like, "Hello, welcome to this very important thing where you know that I'm smart because of my crossed finger." It appears today that apparently, allegedly, we are gonna click play on a video that's gonna tell us. No, that's facts. This is like a plethora of content creators who imitate being detectives with the light shade and crossing their fingers. With the, and they do it just for appearances. Uh, what's that one dude that always like exposed conspiracies? I don't know if he's actually a licensed investigator, but people pump him up like he is. He exposed a bunch of people. Jake Paul with the cryptocurrencies and all. He shows up like the the white dress shirt with the suspenders on, whatever his name is. So there's a lot of people that is like doing that type of thing just to portray a certain image, especially within a true crime community. There's not a lot of people that are legitimate, fam. The glare is trash. Annie from Tender Life is trash. Man, Molly Golightly was trash. She was hilarious, but she was trash when delivering true crime information. Funny as hell, though. I, I don't know why she focused on true crime. Like, man, like she, she was funny. She could have just kept doing live streams and just being wacky. I'm telling you, it, it would have gotten the viewership eventually. She just didn't want to wait and actually grind. She wanted to fast forward things. That's how usually how it is with a lot of these people. But anyway, but I'm like, yeah, there's, there's not many people in true crime that I could say are legitimate, right? 
They just want people to believe that they are. So they present themselves as such. News that is not new. But they're not. In fact, old because I'm telling you. Yeah, Don't guy. worry, I'm going to act like it's new information yeah, that I found yeah. by myself. Don't worry, my fingers are still crossed down here. Today's going to be really exciting. Wait, I don't know. I add creepy music so it adds suspense to this already extremely suspenseful video with not new information. Up, All right, go. I'm going to inform you about information you've already been informed on. In this video, I'll only be crossing my fingers. I won't be <laughs> saying any personal thoughts about it because I wouldn't want to mess it. That's funny. Guys, true crime, in case you haven't known, really, this is what you should look at it as. Not as investigators, not as detectives. It's really just confirmation for what you should have already looked at and researched yourself or what you already know, right? Or you're just getting opinions, bro. That's blatantly all it is. People make it more like it's like people are really cops. No, it's no different from looking at a drama channel, looking at a movie channel. You never watched the movie and went to YouTube to see what the reviewers say. And you're like, mm -hmm, I agree with that. Yep. That was a bullcrap character. Yeah, this storyline was trash. Or oh, same thing with TV shows, right? People are doing that with true crime and not even realizing that's what they're doing. Right. These are cases you know about. You probably reviewed information yourself. A lot of people that watch it probably know more than the creator sometimes, bro. Like, and they'll, you know, give them some information. Hey, I just looked this out. Uh, look this up. Boom. There's this file. Oh, yo, look, you should take a look at this. Right. So, really, what it is is that the person that's the creator is just giving their opinion. And this is if they're being honest, just giving their opinion. And just reviewing it with you guys. That's all it is. Is a review. That's all true crime should be if you're doing it legitimately. Now, if you want to be disgusting, you're going to act like you're an investigator, that you're doing hard work. I've heard the glare tell people, what he, what he told you here is in there? She set us back all the hard work we did. No, nigga. You did nothing but react or review. Stop it. <laughs> stop it bro especially the glitter he don't even do his own research if you do your own research cool that that's no different from if i'm going to do a movie review and i do research on the movie like you're still doing a review in a reaction that's not a bad thing if someone's doing true crime and it's a review or a reaction there's nothing wrong with that where the problem lies is where these people act as if they're more important than what they actually are like they're investigators like they're detectives like they're the Justice League. Glara, Andy from Tender Life, Dad Challenge Podcast, Sloan. This dude don't even cover true crime no more, but really was milking off of Sophie Long. Milk that shit. He milked the hell out of Sophie Long. No one even mentions him when they bring up people using Sophie Long. Not at all. It's crazy. <laughs> and what some numbers would do, man. Numbers and a huge following to <laughs> erase all your, your evil deeds. A case that's so important for my I was cooking just then. I was cooking. It only exists to me in my head. To me, I'm a professional investigator. There's my crossed fingers to prove it. See, he told y'all right there. The Dude, proof is in the pudding always. His fingers, fingers are always crossed. What do you now, web sleuths are different than some of these true crime creators. Some people, like I just said, YouTubers are getting their information from web sleuths. That's okay. Especially if it's accurate, you still got to research it yourself. So yeah, web sleuths is be on it. I'm not mad at that. <laughs> These true crime creators ain't doing that. It's the web sleuths that's actually really doing it. And that sounds funny saying that. I wonder if I could say that a few times when I'm messing up. Web sleuths, web sleuths. Web, I definitely messed it up the second time. It took me two times. But I'm, <laughs> I was going to try to go for three. But yes, uh, there are people that are extremely active. They're doing some real investigating stuff. Some of those people, if they're good, Get hired. That's what people don't realize. If you're one of those people that are heavy into it and you do the research and you're a web sleuth, you know there's like detectives that would hire you professionally to do that for them. There's, yeah, that's an actual thing. But as far as these YouTubers that's acting like they're detectives, no, 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 no. You expect, ain't those like the most straightest non gay fingers? That's how you know it's the truth. That no lie. Not one. He has. The, the glare has never investigated nothing. Well, he investigated his refrigerator to see how many beers he had in there. Right. Oh, let me, let me go to the store. 
the glare got a drink. <laughs> I can't, I can't glare without a, a few sips in me. That's what he, he investigated. He investigated to see if there's more alcohol in the cabinet. That's what he investigated for. How you doing, Victoria? What's up, squirrel? <laughs> well, yeah, that's the, the investigating the glare doing. How many sips can he sip before he start the trip? That's the investigating. How many drinks can he have? It's broken. Demolished. It's broken. Incinerated. It's Oh, true crime community. See you true crime creators out there. Popping that booty for pop up church. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> they they popping what? For, 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 well, where did that come from? He said, I see y'all popping that, that thing. And you, you seen the. <laughs> No, I, I did not like it. I did not. <laughs> I, did, I did not like it none whatsoever. The only thing that sucks is true crime. I'm not dead or murdered or involved in a crime. So what are you true criming? I'm just, just curious, true crime. Y'all investigating hashtags this week? Is that what it is? <laughs> oh, Flarer. I know you're watching this. Oh, he called him the Flarer. Oh, snap. Oh, man. Glimmer probably was doing backflips. Yay. He mentioned me. Somebody with clout mentioned me. And that's when Say Robbie comes out of nowhere. He getting jealous because, you know, they got a thing. He come out mad as hell. <laughs> what do you mean someone mentioned you? I mention you every day. Uh, <laughs> sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> and Robbie's always been a bitch. I ain't lying on his policy is fuck honesty. You ain't got enough. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I'm so <laughs> ah, sobriety. Alright, let me get this. Oh man. No, Garfield, go back in your cage. Yes. You'll fruit Stop cake. Mean, God, That's bro. the guy who crosses his fingers and acts like he knows shit. Are you gonna show me the real video or not? Is that that is the real video? No, this is um, a lady scribbling pink circles. This is not the real video. <laughs> I didn't even know they spoke. I mean, I don't have the original source. Oh, oh wow! So that's not the real video. <laughs> He doesn't have the original source. The the investigator of murders has no idea what he's doing. He's just running through the street, jiggling, going, "Hey, is there any murder I could think about, bro?" Well, the glare don't know nothing. Like I could have told you that the flare, the baby back bitch. Yeah, I, all he do is cry, uh, scream at people, calling them racist. And meanwhile, he refuses to let a black man speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I like trolling him. I like Charlotte. Oh, uh, but yeah, fam. This, this dude, Glare is a clown. Glare always been a clown. I wonder what this guy tells girls when they're like, so what do you do for a living? Me? I dress up at a tiny desk, put on a detective hat with a feather in it to make me, you know, seem like I solve things really fast. Nah, he runs behind a wall and then he peeps out and goes, I glare. Yeah. And then the girl gets creeped out and runs away. And then he's like, oh man, I scared her off. And then he goes and gets him like some Heineken's. Budweiser. I don't know his beer of choice. It don't really matter to him, actually. Yeah. He gets a whole box. <laughs> he gets a box. Uh, and I am wrapping up the Ryan Uckers, uh content. Uh, I'm, I'm doing mystery stuff. Uh, I got a magnifying glass. So I tried to look at the computer, but it burned my eyeball. Yeah, that does sound like the glitter, all right. That sound like the glitter. I mean, I would investigate it myself, but this eye won't look at this eye, so I don't know what's going on. It's broken! That is funny. The the investigation to what agitated and assaulted Ryan of Church's eyeball was Yo. never solved. 
but sparked new interest in Illuminati conspiracies. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Um, yeah, I think he he killed that with the the jokes and trolling. Um, he probably should have addressed the other stuff a little bit more. Uh, maybe he can't though because it's an active case. But overall, I just think that if he went too far, then he he got to chill. Other than that, I agree with all his points. The woke media not believing them, as well as these fake true crime content creators acting like they're detectives, and they not. They they not. Not even a little bit, right? <laughs> no, especially Galera. Galera is garbage. Low quality garbage. Right? You gotta say it like that. Garbage. Right? That's how he is. Straight trash. That's just my opinion. Tell me what yours is down in the comment section. Hit the like button. All that good stuff, fam. All that good stuff. I know I made a lot of changes recently, and it's because I'm trying to make sure I'm good out here in these streets. So this is probably the last big one, but guys, I have a new channel. It's for my live streams and my podcast, Real Talk with BXB Spoy. You can find that link that is a train going on in the background. I'm not editing it out. You can find that <laughs> the link somewhere on my channel. If you go to my homepage, I'll probably have it in the pinned comments too as well, if not in the description. But go and check that out. That's where you can catch topics not only early and way before way before they, they come out on my main channel, but you actually get to hang out with me and just have conversations, maybe even ask me for advice or just ask me whatever questions you want to have, you know, or ask. So go and check that channel out. Subscribe to that. Make sure you check out my previous episodes of my podcast. I appreciate the heck out of y'all, man. Also, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. Helps me keep going. You never know, man. I might get canceled. Might come on here. I might be gone tomorrow. You never know. Check me out on Patreon to find exclusive content. You also get early access to a bunch of stuff as well. Check that out.